So let's take a look to see basically how the comment library and uh, comments work in Tap and Spec. Here we are in Tap and Spec, and let's go into Marty McFly's house and uh, go into the Perform Inspection screen and see how the comments work. Um, let's go into the Site section first. And let's just say at his house, um, Marty's got a lot of trees and shrubs that are overgrown and really need to be trimmed back. So we're going to update those comments and go in and add a comment because we want this to show up on the summary. So this is your comment editor. Um, at the very top of the screen, you can search the entire database of comments for, uh, by word or term. Um, we can go into the saved site comments for the short list of things that we use a lot. This account, there's no comment saved to the site section yet, so we've got a, a blank saved comments. Um, these are the type of comments. The only difference really is an information comment will be displayed in the body of the report, but if you want a comment on the summary, you need to make sure it's a deficiency comment, so it'll be of course displayed in the section of the report but also repeated on the uh, summary. Um, you can manually type your comments or use the microphone if you want to do some voice dictation and then down here is uh, how you add photos. So um, let's see what kind of photos we've got from Marty's house. Um, if I remember right we've got some shrubs that are overgrown, um, some trees that are touching the house so let's go ahead and add those in. Um, we can drag these photos around and change the order of them if we want. Might make a little bit more sense as we were walking around the house. And uh, we know there are no saved comments, but we can still use the uh, search function. Um, and let's search for trees. I know this is my, my library, so I know I've got something on trees in here. And just by searching for the word tree, we've got a, a few comments that showed up. Um, different types, and these are just little snippets of the comment. So if we type tap on them, it'll show us the full comment. Um, that's close, but that's not exactly what we wanted. Um, that's closer, and we're really not talking about damage to the roof. So I think this one is the one that we want to use. We'll just tap on it, and it's added into the report, um, or added into the comment editor. If we tap the save button up here, it's going to add it to this report, but the app sees that we've, this is not in this section yet. It doesn't see it in the section list, so do we want to add it to the section's comments in the library or just save it to this report? Um, we're going to add it to the section's comments because we may want to use this again um, on another report when we run into it in the site section. Um, kind of see what happens is, let's, let's just go ahead and add another comment and say we're on another job. We could go in and you can see the uh, uh, site section there. It's got that comment already saved. So we'll just go back out of that. Um, so that's how you can search the library. Let's go into the exterior section. And um, as a general rule, I always try to take photos of decks, things like that, big items that customers always ask about. So let's go in and we're gonna add a comment. And um, Marty's deck was in pretty good shape but it needs some good cleaning and sanding. So you can see these are my saved comments in my, my library. The important thing to remember is the ones at the top of this list are the ones I've used the most frequently, and um, they're ordered by how often I've used them. As you scroll down to the bottom, these are ones I've used less often, or, or maybe even only once. There's one down here about short chimneys. I think I've used that once. but. Uh, the one we want is this wood deck being in good condition. So we'll go ahead and add that in. You can see it's changed the type of comment for us to information because that's what was added um, in the library. And let's go in and see if we've got some photos of Marty's deck. Yeah, here's a couple of them. It wasn't in too bad a shape, but it does need a little bit of love. And we'll go ahead and save this. And it's really as quick as that. I've reused this comment over and over. There's no typing. There's no change, I just choose it from the list and then I add it into the report. Saves a whole lot of time, really, really handy. Um, we can also modify saved comments if we need them for a particular report. So like say this wood deck, I really wanted Marty to get somebody in here to do the repairs before closing because 
I'm really not sure how bad they are, and I don't want him to get stuck with a bill um, after he's taken ownership. So um, I'm going to put in here, make all needed repairs before closing. How about that? And we'll save that. Now, when I save this comment again, the app is going to notice, hey, Michael, you've changed a comment you've used from your library. Do you want us to update it? That will change the, the saved comment in my library. We can add an entirely new comment. So now we've got one about needs cleaning and standing, and then another one that has the make all needed repairs, or let's only save it to this report. I don't want to modify my library right now, so I'm only going to save it to this report. And it updates it into this report, but it's left my library alone. So that should give us a, a pretty good idea of how things work. When you add a comment, you can search the entire database for any word. We could do the, and you can see there's a whole lot of comments. So maybe we need to narrow it so we can do the GFCI and it narrows it even further. So the search works incredibly well. It'll search the entire database. Um, you can build and modify your saved comments for, this, for that section that comes in handy, or you can manually type in things that are just super unusual and you're only going to use once or twice um, in, in your career. So hopefully that um, gives you a good idea of how to use the comment library, get you started, and uh, hopefully save you quite a bit of time.